All right. You see all this all over me? <laughs> you see all that? I'm about to show y'all some work. It's not really aerobic activity. Um, I'm not going to be doing any exercise today. I can promise you that much. Uh, but nevertheless, some good work I'm going to get in today. Way better than sitting behind a desk somewhere. Thank God I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, guys. Nichols Retirement Empire. You know, when you're retired, it's kind of your job to figure out ways to save money. Well, I'm about to go save some money. And when you have more time than you have money, this is the kind of thing you do on Nichols Retirement Empire. About a quarter mile from my house, they have been doing some clearing. The county's been clearing out some area on the side of the road. Um, you know, they go through with those, that big heavy machinery. And apparently they had went through and they cut down a bunch of trees and all this kind of stuff. And then they chipped all this stuff up. And I've been trying to call my county and call the county extension agent and all this kind of stuff to figure out where I can get free mulch. And there's a huge pile of mulch and it's been sitting there for weeks. And I don't guess they're going to get it. I guess they're just going to leave it sitting there to rot and turn into compost. So I can either wait till it rots and turns into compost or I can go get it right now and use it for mulch uh, in my backyard. So I'm going to go get it and uh, hope I don't get arrested. But you got to take a chance when you're going to save some money and you're retired. I mean, look at all that. I didn't want to start off right with my retirement getting arrested right at the very beginning, but I'm going to have to get some of that. It's just, it's serious. It's been sitting out here for weeks. I don't think anybody's going to get it. And this is just on the side of the road, you know, where some posts are and, or, you know, some, uh, electric poles are and stuff like that. And the county comes through here and cleans all this up. So I'm going to, I'm going to get it. I mean, it's mixed chips and, uh, Pine straw. Now there's some crap in here, you know, that I'll have to get rid of. But I'm gonna tell you what, as much as mulch costs, look at all that. Good Lord. Yeah, I'm gonna be getting some of this. Did get a load of mulch and some exercise. So let's carry it to the house. Okay, there's my haul. You might say, well, really, that's not that much. Well, it was a lot when I was when I was taking that shovel and putting it in there and uh, I'm gonna get it put out I went in the house I cooled off a little bit got me a drink of water uh, and you know the Bible says by the sweat of your brow you shall eat so uh, I'm out here sweating and uh, if man don't work you shouldn't eat so I'm out here working and I'll save myself a little bit of money doing this you know and you may say well you're not you know you're not working that hard and you're fat and all this kind of stuff well I might be fat so you want to come out here and work with me come on and we'll see how fat I am uh, but let's get this stuff put out where we want to put it. But I got some uh, good plans for it. One thing I want to do is get some mulch on my tomato plants. Yeah, I know I've been uh, working indoors as a teacher and an administrator all these years. But now I've always worked outside. And uh, man, I'm a firm believer you need to be getting outside and doing some work like this. Um, I mean, there's a reason why, you know, like now you have to get kids in and have them work out and stuff like that and get them conditioned to be able to go out and play football and sports and all this. It's cause they're never outside. Man, I believe you ought to be outside and do some outside work. And I've always done that throughout all the years. You know, like I said, even though I've worked indoors, man, when I was coaching, I was outside every day. That's one thing I miss about that is being outside. And I was always outside on the weekends and stuff. And I, I believe you need to get out there. You need to do some work outside. If you're not doing that, you're missing out. All right, this is what all I got so far. Have some right here at the end of my bed. Have it covering all through here. And I have it all around my pool. 
And I believe what I am going to do is go get one more bed full and uh, just really pile it on thick because I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be able to get free mulch is. And like I said, this isn't like premium stuff. I wouldn't necessarily put this in front of my house, but uh, I'll tell you what, it's worth having. It's gonna, it's gonna help the soil out here and uh, it's worth the work. So I think I'll go get me another load. All right, load number two. And let me just make a statement right here. And if you don't listen to anything else in this video, you listen to this. That piece of equipment right there, don't use that. I tried to use that my first load and I took a picture of myself holding that shovel. Get a daggone rake and use your hands. I loaded this truck. <laughs> I, bet, I bet I loaded this thing maybe three times as fast using my hands and that rake as I did trying to use that shovel. Don't use that shovel. And you're gonna be sorry if you do. Use a rake in your hands. I got my gloves. Man, that was so much faster, it was unbelievable. Okay, and when you unload it, same thing. Don't try to use the shovel. Just take your rake. And just pull it off into your wheelbarrow. I'm doing that with one hand, but you get the idea. It's way faster than trying to use a shovel. I figured that out almost immediately. But anyway, a little tip for you in case you find yourself digging up your own wood chip somewhere. All right, All right guys. I would say I got it on there thick. After that second load, I was able to come back in here. I got it all. I got it all under here, nice and thick. I got it all through here, all along the house, back there in the back. Nothing cost me anything except about three hours of labor all right saving money i guess that's what old people do nickels retirement empire like and subscribe and share with your friends